Hi, this is Barb from Scrappy Mania, and today I am just going to play with my watercolor pencils and um, actually with my portfolio. I am going to test this out, this mixed media book. I pulled a page out and I'm just going to play with it and create a, a mixed media doll. I'm also using the book from Julie Nutty, The Collage Couture, just to give me inspiration. And I really love how she makes this little face here, and I think I'm going to try to do that. So we'll see how that comes out. I'm also going to maybe give her a dress or background. I'm not sure. I'm just playing with what I have. I do like this background, something like that. Um, I'm on travel today. So I'm here for two days. And I brought just very minimum supplies. So unlike the last time that I went on travel for two weeks, this travel is only two, two days. So I brought some of my watercolor crayons. I did bring my portfolio which I'm going to use. I brought a book for inspiration and I also have some more little things in here for inspiration. How to make faces and fig figures. So I'm using that. I also brought some Santango books that I think I may have time to play with. I may not. So we'll see. And then the other thing that I brought was basically just, um, again, my portfolio watercolors, my um, Stratler's watercolors, um, crayons. I brought some aqua pens or, um, because I didn't want to bring a lot of water and paints and stuff like that this time around. So I just brought this to kind of work to see if it works. I just put some of my pens in there and pencils in here and an eraser. And then I do have some markers in here, some other stuff. And that's it. That's all I brought. Of course, I did bring my sheet to protect the table and I laid that down. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and kind of figure out what I'm going to do. I hope you like this video process and come play with me. Um, pull out your paints and your supplies and let's go and try to make something.
here's my um, Finnish mixed media doll. So I hope you like it. Now the paper that I used was the 98 pound paper from um, Canson, the mixed media pad, and it's okay. I'm not sure if I would buy the same type of paper for in the larger um, paper pad. They do have a large paper pad, the same kind of um, weight, and I'm not sure if I would get that. I did buy a 140 pound weight uh, mixed media paper that I have used already in one layout and I do like that one that one didn't warp as much and it really looked pretty nice so I think I'm gonna stick with the 140 pound um, this one is okay for little things like this and um, I think it will be fine too but you cannot really use it to put a lot of wet media on it so I hope you like it my little mixed media doll and I have inspired you to try this now I do not know how to draw very well, but I did use Julie Nutty's little book, and I did kind of, um, you know, use this as my inspiration, and I think, even though it's not exactly how she does hers, but the mouth, you know, I took her, her little sketch here, it's like a big M, and it's larger lips, so I did the same thing there with a smaller little, um, bottom lip. The eyes, she has a more almond shaped eyes. Mine is more, I don't know, don't know. But her eyes are a little different than mine. So that's, but it still looks okay. And her, my hair is different than this hair, but it still looks okay. So I do use this for the portion, the proportions of the mouth, the eyes, and things like that. So I do like the book. And I was practicing early on with the lips and the eyes using my book. So I hope you like this um, page, this little drawing that I made. And thank you for watching. Bye now.